In this episode, we will specifically discuss one of the most advanced tanks in service in the world, called T-90 tank. Developed by Russia in the 1990s as an upgraded version of the T-72, the T-90 has seen action in various conflicts and has proven to be a reliable and effective weapon system. Indeed, Russia has a long history of using large numbers of tanks in combat and is continuously updating its tank fleet, and the T-90 is a key part of this modernization effort. But the question is, how powerful is the T-90 tank, and what makes the T-90 unique and effective compared to other tanks in its class? Join us as we delve into the world of this powerful and impressive tank. First of all, let's have a look at the overview and history of T-90. The T-90 tank is a Russian main battle tank that was first introduced in 1992 and currently in service with the Russian ground forces and the Indian Army. It is an upgraded version of the T-72 tank, which was first produced in the 1970s. The T-90 was developed by the Kirov plant, Bureau of Technical Management in Omsk, Russia. The T-90 was first publicly displayed in 1995 at the Moscow Victory Day Parade. It was developed as a response to the perceived threat of Western tanks like the M1 Abrams and the Leopard 2. The tank was designed to have a high level of protection and mobility, as well as advanced fire control and targeting systems. In 2001, Russia began exporting the T-90 to other countries, including India, which purchased over 1,000 of T-90s. The T-90 has also been used in various conflicts, including the Russo-Georgian War in 2008 and the Syrian Civil War. In recent years, Russia has continued to upgrade the T-90. One of the key upgrades is the installation of a new engine, which improves the tank's mobility and power. It is equipped with a V92S2S diesel, which provides more power and better fuel efficiency than the previous engine. Another upgrade is the improved armor protection. The T-90's armor has been enhanced with the addition of new composite materials and an active protection system, or APS. The APS is designed to detect and intercept incoming anti-tank missiles, providing an added layer of protection for the tank. Moreover, the T-90's main gun has also been upgraded. The original 125mm gun has been replaced with the 2A 46M5 cannon, which has a longer barrel and improved accuracy. Additionally, the tank's fire control system has been updated with new laser rangefinders and thermal imaging cameras, which improve the tank's targeting capabilities. Overall, these upgrades have made the T-90 tank more powerful, more mobile, and better protected than before. For this reason, the T-90 is considered as one of the most advanced tanks in service in the Russian military. In relation T-90 operational history, it has proven its power in numerous combats. It played a significant role in the Second Chechen War from 1999 to 2009. During the conflict, T-90 tanks were used in both urban and mountainous terrain and proved to be effective against Chechen rebel forces. In 2008, T-90 tanks were used in the Russo-Georgian War, where they were used in the battle for Tskin Valley, the capital of South Ossetia. During the battle, T-90 tanks were used to support Russian infantry and were able to effectively engage and destroy Georgian armored vehicles. In 2011, T-90 tanks were used in the Syrian civil war by the Syrian army, where they were deployed in several major battles against rebel and Islamist forces. In recent years, T-90 tanks have been used in various exercises and military operations by the Russian military, including in eastern Ukraine. Moreover, India has also used T-90 tanks in its military operations in the region, such as line of control and border disputes with Pakistan. Now, let's delve into the T-90 specification. The T-90 tank is an upgraded version of the T-72 platform, featuring new systems and features. It is manufactured in several variants and all powered by a 12-cylinder turbocharged engine, but with varying power outputs. The T-90 has a V84 MS diesel engine that generates up to 840 horsepower. 
The T90A is equipped with a V92 four-stroke engine that provides 1,000 horsepower. And the T90 MS features a V96 diesel engine delivering around 1250 horsepower. These engines enable the tank to reach speeds of 37 miles per hour on roads and 28 miles per hour off roads. Moreover, the tank is equipped with a 125 mm smoothbore main gun, as well as a 762 mm machine gun and a 127 mm machine gun for anti aircraft defense. The T90 is protected by advanced composite armor, which provides a high level of protection against anti-tank missiles, mines, and improvised explosive devices. It weights around 46 tons up to 48 tons for the latest variants and has a length of 32 feet, with the hull measuring 22.5 feet. Besides, the tank has a width of 12.5 feet and a height of 7 feet. On top of that, the T90 tank is equipped with a fire control system, which includes a gunner's sight, a laser rangefinder, and a ballistic computer. The gunner's sight allows the gunner to acquire targets visually, while the laser rangefinder measures the distance to the target. The ballistic computer uses this information to calculate the necessary adjustments to the main gun's elevation and lead. This allows the gunner to engage targets quickly and accurately, even while the tank is moving. The T90 tank is also equipped with night vision capabilities, allowing the crew to operate the tank in low light conditions. The night vision system includes thermal imaging and image intensification technology, which enhances the visibility of the crew at night. This allows the tank to engage in combat operations during the night, giving the tank a significant advantage over the enemy. Finally, the T90 tank features missile guidance system for its main gun. This system allows the tank to fire guided missiles, which are more accurate and have longer range than traditional tank shells. The missiles are equipped with semi-automatic command to line of sight guidance system, which utilizes a laser rangefinder and a guidance system to direct the missile to the target. This system allows the T90 to tank to engage targets at longer ranges and with greater accuracy, making it a formidable opponent on the battlefield. In terms of the cost, the T90 is considered very cheap with its high specifications. Its low cost is a significant selling advantage. Although the latest model T90 MS is more expensive, the older T90 models with a lower cost can still be bought and exported for an estimated price range of $2.5 to $3.5 million. However, it is important to note that despite the low cost of the T90, it may be perceived as having lower quality compared to other popular tanks globally. Despite this, upon closer inspection of its specifications, the T90 appears to be of good quality. Speaking of the country's Operate T90 tank, the tank is currently in service with the Russian Armed Forces and several other countries, such as India, which has 2,078 T90S tanks, Algeria, which has 572 units of the T90SA variant, Azerbaijan, which has 100 T90S tanks, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, Vietnam, Uzbekistan, Armenia, which has more than 30 T90S tanks, and Iraq, which has 73 T90S and SK tanks, among others. It is known as the main battle tank of the Russian Armed Forces and is used by the Russian Ground Forces, Airborne Troops, and Coastal Troops, and known as Bishma in Indian service. Tajil in Algeria, Dijanta in Kazakhstan. These are the countries that I am aware of as of 2021, but there might be other countries that operate T90 tanks as well. Controversial facts about T90. Despite its high specification, the T90 tank's effectiveness has been called into question due to a failure in recent conflicts, such as the Syrian civil war and the Russian invasion of Ukraine. In Syrian civil war, Russia sent 30 T-90 tanks to the Syrian army. However, the T-90 was vulnerable to attacks from American TOE-2A missiles, with many videos showing the Syrian rebels successfully taking out the T-90s, of which five or six were reportedly destroyed by TOE-2A missiles between 2016 and 2017. In the recent invasion of Ukraine, the T-90 has not been clearly recorded as having been destroyed by the Ukrainian army, but several videos show Russian tanks being destroyed, and the T-90 may have been among them. 
Besides, many D-90s and other Russian tanks were filmed as getting stuck in mud and losing mobility. Finally, the T-90 tank may have its flaws, but its legacy lives on as a reminder of the constant evolution of military technology. As advancements continue to be made, it's important to reflect on the lessons learned from the past and how they can shape the future of warfare. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.